Hey, what's going on everyone? We are back, finally got the truck done. Still some more stuff to do, but a lot happened in the past couple of weeks, so we had a lot more than I thought I would. It's raining out here, we're in Tribuco Canyon, as you can see. Decided to test it out for the first time. It's actually running pretty good. Suspension's good, tires are good. So let's go ahead and give you guys a preview of it. All right, so there it is. So here we have, let me flip the camera around for you. We have the rolling big power Repsol RTs, 35 by 12 and a half 17s on some KMC IMS wheels, 17s by, I believe nine. In the rear we got the King Coil over adjustable coil over shocks. This is sitting on a three and a half inch lift. We have a new company out here, the OUO Campers. It's a bad wing, so every side opens. We got the Thule uh, Tempiu, Tempi. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it. Rooftop tent. Thing is amazing. I'll put a picture up here for you guys to see when it was open. Yeah, this thing is doing great. Uh, I'm gonna head back out here. It's about, I think, four miles of off roading. But yeah, it's holding up pretty well. I love the way it rides. I did not air down for this because, and you know, it's not really crazy. A two wheel drive can come through here, no problem. There's really no need to air it down. I'm gonna check out the scenery here. But yeah. I'm going to jump back in the truck, we're going to head back out of here, and it's raining right now so it's pretty cold. So I'm going to find another spot and do an in-depth detail on everything that's done to it. Stay tuned. Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm back. It's been a week. It kept raining and raining and it was just horrible to do another video. So now let's go ahead and do the walk around, show you everything that's been done to the truck. 
all right here we go I just washed her yesterday so like I said earlier we got the rolling big power Repsol RTs They are a 35 by 1250 R17s on some KMC IMS wheels, 17s. These wheels are machine faced, which I love. They just came out with, I think maybe, I wanna say five, six months ago. Same thing with the tires, maybe like nine months ago, nine to 10 months, something like that. But we got the Cognito upper control arms. We got the King adjustable coilover shocks, front and rear. So the front coilovers pretty much keep it at the same stock ride height because it is an AT4. If you have anything else, it lifts it up. I think about it's about a three and a half inch lift, and the rear. Let's say AT4, it already has the blocks, so it lifts it up another two inches, which would be another three and a half. Got the OUO camper, which you just press these. Everything's a bat wing on both sides. It just pops wide open. It's got the sliding windows in it. Let's check it out, open all these. Pop it open. I haven't hooked up the third brake light yet. I haven't gotten around to it. I'm gonna drop everything down. Let's see, I got the back full with stuff already. Let's open up this side. As you can see, fully all the way around, fully opening, easy to get into. I may add the shelves to one side maybe this side if I can keep everything I need in here like my via air compressor the hoses and everything I got my slide out refrigerator right here that just plugs into the AC outlet in the truck we got the adjustable kings right here which big shout out to Underland off-road uh, Wyatt over there he hooked me up big time these are for the steel bed AT4s and trail bosses but since I have the carbon pro bed it doesn't have the pinch welds for it to hook up to so he customized it hooked it up straight to the bed but then also drilled and tapped the brackets that King sends it with for it to have a better look to it came out amazing he had the truck I had to bring it back to him about three times just to make sure everything was dialed in correctly. He, he did an amazing job. Nothing but respect for Wyatt over there. And yesterday I went and added the Road Active suspension, the RAS. Since the truck with all the weight with the camper and the rooftop tent made the truck sag. Just a little bit because he added weight. So I had a little Cali lean to it, but I added that and pretty much leveled out the truck. It rides a lot smoother. I don't feel any of the body roll anymore with the weight from up top. Whenever I make turns, I feel a little bit of the body will roll on it. But yeah, this thing is great. I have no complaints. I love it. This is my dream truck right here. I will be keeping this one. I know I may have said that about the black one, but the Silverado. Since it was the first year they came out with the Duramax on it, it was a 2020, it had some issues, but I could have worked around it, but then I've always wanted this radiant red or iridescent red. So then I finally came up with the came out and talked to a dealer over there at Tustin. Great deal, so I had to jump on it. There will be more things coming soon. I gotta add lights. I haven't gotten around to that yet. And then um, the switch panel and all that so I'll add some videos I'll still add the picture if I haven't yet of the rooftop tent fully opened up
and then I'll do a video later on inside the tent for you guys to see exactly how much room we have inside but I'll do that when we take this truck out for its first adventure so you know like comment and subscribe that way I can keep these videos going um, this is fully funded by me the only sponsorship I have are the RBP tires they came in clutch on it big thanks over to Paul and them over there at RBP they hooked it up big time with these tires but everything else is fully funded by me so like comment and subscribe share it with some friends share it to people that just got an AT4 that maybe have questions I'll be more than happy to answer them but until then catch you guys on the next one thanks for watching